Okay, here we go. Speak rock. Uh, I think probably we should read that book that we have about Speakerog. If I can find it. Girl, what a strong boy. He's carrying so many books. You know what? Actually, that this is not the place to look. I should be looking here. Mm. The Lonesome World Guide to Speakerog. Though Speakerog is not the most frequently visited of the Skellige Isles, one cannot deny it has a certain inescapable charm. Particularly bewitching are the snow-capped peaks towering over its southern and western shores. Speakerog will surely please lovers of the martial arts. The north northern portion of the isle is home to a famed arena where local warriors test their strength in no-holds-barred bouts. South of the arena lies the village of Sforlag, home to Clan Brockvar. Located on a picturesque bay, Sforlag is particularly lovely to visit in the summer and feasts and around the feasts of Bellatane. South of Sforlag sp sprawls a primeval wilderness that serves as Clan Brockvar's chief hunting grounds. Visiting the southern portion of the isle should be reserved only for extremely experienced travelers like myself, for they are completely wild, inhospitable, and deprived of all human settlements. The area is crawling with dangerous creatures of all kinds, described in more detail in the fauna and flora section. One should also show particular caution when traveling near the caves along the isle's coast. Okay, so we've got a few things that we should check out here. There's this arena, there's these caves. Let's look at the map. Okay. So yeah, we are here in Sforlag. Uh, the arena, I believe, is over here. The mountain is up here. And the caves, of which we should beware, are along here, I believe. Uh, and before we get started with Ceres... Oh, look at that. We're going to climb that for sure. Um, before we get started with Ceres, I think maybe we should take a look at the notice board. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, I think that's the arena on the other side. Beautiful. Wangar's execution. Wangar, known as the Blasphemer, was executed for insulting the great mother goddess Freya. His obscene tongue was burnt in the temple's hearth fire, and his mouth was given to the vipers. Yikes. May his fate serve as a warning to those who dare spew filth about our Heavenly Mother. Point taken. Our longships are due to return in the coming days. Scouts have brought word of the raid's success. Be ready to honor our clan's heroes. Oodlerick. The dike that protects us from floods was seriously damaged during the last storms. All who can work should help repair it. Council of Elders. Council of Elders has a lot to say. Excellent kites! Need a gift for your child? Come to Burgar the Hunchback and buy his most excellent kites made of strips of wood and swim bladders. That sounds nice. I heal aching teeth. If my healing fails, I'll pull them out. Painlessly. And for free. Painlessly? Seems unlikely. Contract, Nils' disappearance. To anyone who might know anything, Nils from our village, he's disappeared. It's been many a day now, so if you know what's become of him, don't keep it to yourself, come see me and let me know, even if the truth's grim and dark. For my sister, Britt, who was his betrothed, she's going out of her mind with worry, crying seas of tears and such. I swear to Hemdal, whoever brings me news will get an honorable reward. Kevin. We can probably look into this. Kevin? He's not too far away. Oh, Oops, sorry. My bad. Hi, oh, he's right here. Hello, sir. See you not from round here. What's brought ye to speaker, Rock? Well, not your notice, but... Heard you've got a job for a witcher. Hi. My sister's near drilled a hole in me, got pestering me. I hung a notice, hoping she'd let up. Truth be told, didn't really expect anyone to take an interest. What's this about? My sister's betrothed. He's disappeared. Folks say he done a runner. Sis claims she saw a beast carry him off. 
Hmm. Sensing you just don't believe your sister. They had their ups, they had their downs. Nils, thoroughbred skirt chaser. The Brit's just not easy to be around. But family's sacred. You willing to look into this? Depends. Finding Nils won't be easy. Reward you posted's not enough. Bring him home, and I'll spare no coin. Need to hear something specific. A sum. First, you gotta tell me something specific. What happened to Nils? I mean, that's not really how it works. All right, let's try it. Three, three, three. Sounds good. Well, now. Oh, he's not that annoyed. Know, would you consider dropping it a bit? Okay. How about three fifteen? Agreed. Sounds good. I'll see what I can do. Want to talk to your sister first off? Britt and Nils had their favorite spot, cliffs north of the village. Ever since he went missing, she's Aww. been wandering about there. Thanks. I'll go see her. Oh, Geralt. Please. So she's up there. Okay. Let's head over there. How do we get over there? Well, oh. approach. Roach, where are you going? Uh, come on, Roach. You could be there by now, Roach. There we go. Watch out. We are coming through over here. Excuse me, sheeps. Oh, there's even a little road. Where? No, no, Roach, this way. There we go. Oh, there's other folk on the road. Oh, she's over here. Hey, Brett. Tell me what you think happened. Wow, look at that. Need to talk to you. <laughs> Leave me be. Did you see Nils die? Come on, what kind of a question is that? Did you see Nils die? I, I, I saw a shadow, great wings, like a cloud passing over the sky. Then I heard him scream. Something grabbed him, lifted him up, then flew off towards the caves on the shore. But he was alive, screaming my name. I'll look into it. I'll look I'll into it. Explore those caves Britt mentioned. Okay, so something picked him up and dragged him off. That doesn't sound very promising. Wow, look at them doing laundry down there. We went right past them. Okay, so these are probably the caves that the guidebook mentioned as being dangerous. Yep. Okay, so. Go along the road here, maybe pick up this piece of witcher gear. Try to avoid this, because I don't want to trigger this quest. Let's go, Roach. Let's check it out. Faster. Well, not into the sea, though, Roach. Oh, look at these little flats. That must flood very easily. I would assume. I just heard somebody hunting. Maybe. Wouldn't that be nice? Excuse me. Oh. Wait a minute. This is not the way. We'll find out about it. You're very polite, Yorg. Slow down. Going the right way. Yes. Okay, I just gotta keep left. 
This is maybe not the best fruit for roach. Oh, there's a barber here. Why are all the Slow barbers now. bald? Okay, there's the main lodge. We'll go there later when we're ready to find Ceres. But for now, we're on a mission. Oh, I should remember to hit up that tavern on the way back. I can probably get some Gwent cards there. Alright, so we are now in the wild and untamed forest, into which no inexperienced traveler should venture, according to the book. Pretty cool forest. Oh, I think maybe this is where the Witcher gear was supposed to be. Let's have a save first, just in case. Roach, let me go in on foot. I'll have a Quen. Roach, chill out. You've seen me quite a million- Oh, there's bandits! Okay, bandits. Yep, come on. Get out of here. These bandits are not very good at fighting. Alright, is that the shield guy? Whoop! Nope. Whoa. Here's the shield guy. Got him! Okay, there was all kinds of good stuff here. Witcher gear, though? No. Let's see. Did I stop at the wrong place? No, it's here somewhere. Hmm. Oh, well, there we go. What does the map have to say about this tower? The ruins of an old watchtower in which, according to legend, a crazed Kaviri princess once locked herself up, convinced of only a man able to free her from this tower would be fit to be her husband. No one even tried, however. The princess died of old age and the tower fell into disrepair with the passage of time. Another version of uh, Rapunzel, I guess. All right, let's continue about our business. Thank you for the loot, bandits. Roach, you still there? Yeah, you are. Let's go. See if these caves are all they're cracked up to be. Wow, move goats! Get out the way! Uh, Skellige is just so picturesque. Is that Unvik over there? I think it might be. Alrighty. See if we can find this guy. Watch out, crabs. Hmm. Blood moss? Monsters? Drowners. Uh, stinks of carrion. Necrophages. <laughs> Whoa. couldn't possibly lift nails into the air. Counters? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, there's tons of them. Oh, look at this. Siren tracks. A very big siren. Hmm. Slithering around, I guess. Okay. I'm coming for you, drowners. Come on, drowners. Whoa! Can I get up there? 
doesn't particularly look that way. No, maybe I will be able to get up there later. I hear more drowners over there. Oh, look at this. A statue of some sort. Interesting. Maybe I can jump up here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ooh, I see something sparkly. Ooh, I, you know what? I think I know what this is, and I will come back for it later. Let's stay on task. Ah! Whoa! Carol! Whoa! Hmm... Are there, there's more over there. Boats. Monsters are really fond of making artwork out of boats. Or st other structures. Ooh. Alright, this is a statue to something, I feel. But to what? The siren? Ooh, what's this? Strange scale color. Not your everyday siren. Hmm. Oh, oh, we can examine this. Melusine, the mad and dangerous uh. lady of the depths. Clearly used to be worshipped here. Same scales as on the altar. Melusine cult didn't appear out of nowhere. The kitten has been living here a while. Went into hibernation some time ago, but it's awake now. And it's hungry. Okay, interesting. Is that in our bestiary? What would this be? Necrophage? No. Uh, hybrids? Yes, Melusine. In the mountains near the village of Svorlag and Skellige lies an enormous complex of caves. For many centuries, they were given wide berth on account of the bloodthirsty echidna known as Melusine, who had made them into her lair. Melusine was a beast so powerful, some islanders worshipped her as a semi-divine being. The Witcher, however, harbored no such delusions. He knew she was an extremely powerful monster, but a monster all the same. This meant she could be killed. To do so, he would need the highest quality of bolts, a solid silver blade, and a steady hand. I think we've got all those things. An echidna, huh? Grape shot, hybrid oil, igni, ard. Okay. Grape shot. We've got grape shot. Superior grape shot, even. All right. Melusine, we need to find out if you ate this guy's or this woman's betrothed. Oh. More siren tracks, more drowners. Are these explosion? Yeah, they're exploding barrels. Oh boy. I think maybe an Ard is the way to go here. Yep. Maybe an Igni? Come on, Drowner. Come over here. Got an Igni for ya. Alrighty. I should have been more careful with these barrels, actually. Going straight out the door. Okay, so shall we. Probably should take the cat off. Oh. Ooh, wow, right. Hmm. I see a nest. Oh, many nests. Uh-oh. Doesn't look good. A lot of skeletons. But one, uh, fresh... Recently betrothed... Nils, I suspect. Nils. Gotta be. Some monster dropped him from high up. Brit wasn't lying. Mm. Ooh, wow. What 
Now, you piece of filth. Come on. Come at me. I dare you. What? How did that make, not make her fall? Oh, oh, she's stuck. Oh, come on. Oh, I missed. How did I miss? There we go. Oh, wow. We must have been super overleveled for this. Elucine. Well, went down in like two shots, apparently. The sword is at a very high multiple, so that's probably why. Um, it's too bad it wasn't just one higher. I could have leveled it up. But clearly it's plenty powerful. Nice. Poor guy. And poor... What's her face? Hmm. All right, I guess we should head back. Back through the cave. Pop it along there. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Weird statue. Run, girl, run. Gotta get back to Roach. Whew. There she is. Maybe we can run back this time, huh? Now that we know the way. Hey, yeah. Let's go. Oh, follow the road, Roach. Follow the road. There you go. Watch out, goats. This way? Is this the way? Yeah. Oh, Kevin. Got some bad news, Kevin. Can I go this way? Is this a way? Let's see. Oh, not really. Oh! Watch out, dude. You're the only one here! And you're just shooting rabbits! Not very well. Alright, bye. Kevin? Oh, can I go down this way? I'll just walk. Thank you, Roach. Uh-huh. This would have been the way to go all along. Hey, Kevin. Oh. Spare your ass, Master Witcher. Found an old echidna in a cave on the shore. Tough beast, but I killed it. So Brick spoke true? A beast took Nils. Looks and that way. Killed him. Bodies in the cave. I'll have to fetch it. Witcher, would ye mind telling Brit what happened to her betrothed? Ugh, fine. Fine. I'll talk to her. It's the least she deserves. Feel like a damn fool now, not believing me own sis. Take this. Hard work deserves payment. Farewell. Thank you. Yeah, wow. Interesting. I feel like I was very overleveled, but I just got a decent amount of XP for that, so I couldn't have been too, too overleveled. Hey, wait, hang on. I'm going to try a trick here. Oh, that didn't... Oh, it kind of worked. I think sometimes turning, like, 90 degrees from the way you want to go helps Roach to manifest somewhere more useful. Alright, Roach. Let's go find her. Watch out. Ooh. We've got bad news to deliver. Brit. Need to talk 
up to you. <laughs> Leave me be. Mm. Your betrothed is dead. An echidna captured and killed him. Nels. This won't bring him back, I know. But I avenged him. Killed the beast. Thank you. Knew all along he was true to me. And so I'll vow to be true to him for the rest of my days. Take um. this gold. It ain't much, but I want you to take it. Sure, thank you. Thank you. Take any coin I can get. Doesn't come often in my profession. Poodle Rick. I have a question for you. How do I say Oh. Excuse me. That's not true. And you're welcome, fisherman. Welcome to the home of Jarl Udlrek of the Honorable Clan Brockfar. Greetings. Wanted to see the Jarl. Enter. Jarl's still speaking to his seer, but they should finish soon. One thing. Watch where you step. How come? Jarl's not too fond of light. Makes it easy to trip. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Oh. We'll be done in a moment. And then a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Jarl. No, they demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Mm. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. Uh, what is this guy's deal? I say something wrong. You must forgive the Earl. Hasn't been feeling well of late. Is he sick? He didn't seem quite right during Croc's feast, but... Forgive me. I must go to him. Um... Where's Ceres? I've got to find her. Uh... I don't know. Ask around. Great. <laughs> oh, girl. Storm us in Old Bay. I like it where yesterday. Ockland fell overboard in near time. Ooh. I dove in the waves and saved them. Twas the gods directed him. He said the voice come out. Oh, I can't get in there. It's a maelstrom. Too bad they didn't protect him from harm. Guys, I'm trying to eavesdrop here. Wouldn't that best of girl Hmm. Oh, now I can get in. I wasn't dropping no eaves, sir. Honest. I'll go ask around. Okay, guys. Thank you. Yes. None of you have anything useful to say. Uh, okay. Fine. All right. Back on task. Ask around about Ceres. We already heard this blonde lady talking about her earlier, so. Uh, I've only missed them to be a hero like that. Like me? Greetings. Ha! Nary a soul for months. Then one day guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveler. Hungry. I was just at the pub, thank you. Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. Ah, you found her. Or near to. Lass was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our Jarl. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Bergthora and Eirik. Bergthora and Eirik? Who are Bergthora and Eirik? Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. Was the Jarl that helped him win Bergthora's hand. They lived toward the east end of the village. Okay, thank you. That was very Take helpful. Care. Bless you. And my blessings to Ceres when you see her. 
watches over clan Pearsech. The blood of kings. Why was this little girl looking frightened in the background the whole time? I'm very old. Mm. I'm like a hundred years old. Ask about Sarah's in the village. Talk to Brook Thora. Brook Thora? What? Who's up here? Could you tell a trout from a charm? Not really. Sorry to interrupt. You need something? Come. Let's have a pint of that shot. Okay. Thanks, but I'm short on time. Looking for a girl named Ceres. Crack on Crate's daughter. She was here, but I've not seen her away. Okay. Take care. That was not especially helpful. Oh. Then let's go talk to Brugthora. Oh, she's up. Me or Hjalmar? Uh -huh. Thora. Greetings. I'm looking for someone. <laughs> Lucky chap you are then. Truth be told, I'm taken. But village is brimming with lovely girls. Made a couple of assumptions here, but not wrong. Did you say lovely girls? Where? Maybe one would be willing to show me around the island. Well, there's Vea, lovely one, Cooper's daughter. Though, nah, she's got teeth like fish hooks. Now, Deborah, there's a fine lass. Teeth bang on straight. Though, there is a growth under her right eye. Hmm. Maya's got a right dreamy face. If not for that bit of bone rod on her right foot. Ah, nuts. Now I give it a think. Well, none of these lasses are really appealing. <laughs> Okay, thank you for the intel, I guess. What is that dog doing over there? I'm looking for Ceres. The skinny thing. Lovely doe eyes, true, and she's from an honorable house. But the lass is gaunt as a sapling. I don't know where she is, and her father... Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No Skellige lass can perish in her own isles. All right, she was here a few hours. Went to find me man, Irik. Needed to talk, she said. They should be on the beach, to other side of the aisle. Thanks. Take care. Good chat. Good luck searching. Searching. That's all we ever do. Yeah, all right. Where are we going? Oh, yeah, all the way over here. Okay. This calls for Roach. Uh, Roach. There you are. Beautiful baby. The road was down here, I think. Ah, yeah. We've been here before. All right. Now well, let's have a nice little canter so that we can scope things out. Oh, man. Check that out. Is this the way? I'm not so sure. Ah, yes it is, okay. Mm. Uh-oh. Slow now. Whoa. Uh-oh. I see a bunch of drowners and I see a guy standing on a rock. Okay. Well maybe we should go help him. Faster. Come on, Roach. We've got a man to save. Maybe we can do it on Roach. What now, you piece of filth? Oh, we missed. Uh, uh, another approach, Roach. Get him. Oh, boy. I think we got him. Let's see. Let's see. Huh. Yeah. Good hit. Good hit. Oh. Okay. This is taking too long. Watch out, drowners. Do you mind? There we go. Taken care of, sir. Fucking mute dabber! Swimming like gulls around the waist heap. I be sure we showed him. <laughs> we seem to remember you sitting on that rock crying for help. Ah, uh, but if not for me warning, you'd be herring bit about now. Uh 
Um. Well. And if not for me, you'd have sat on that rock till you died and rotted. For the love of Freya, all right. Have it your way. You saved me, now what? What, need I march around the country singing in your praises? No. Just tell me where to find Ceres. Must be daft. You helped me with the sea devils. But that don't mean I'm willing to gossip about Uncrate's daughter. I mean, Brookthora did. Ooh. Here are your options. Tell me where Ceres is, or I'll tell everyone. I found you sitting on a rock, scared witless and screaming like a woman. Ah, talk all you want. No one will believe a foreigner telling tales about an islander. All right, I don't have time for this. Where's Ceres? Tell me. Just about our Jarl and his family. Went to Odeldrick's old family home. Yonder on the hill. Thanks. Ah. Farewell. I think we saw that on our way here. Just back from fishing. Okay. Interesting that he was so tight-lipped. You expect me to gossip about Ceres, but his wife was just more than happy to. <laughs> okay, I guess we need to go back. Bruce Forlag and up this way, unless we can get up this way. Maybe we can. Well, let's see. Let's just keep left. Left, right. Not so fast. <laughs> Uh, right. Keep right. Let's see if we can make it up that way. I don't know. We'll find out. We've got time. Good job, Roach. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Maybe this, this seems... Maybe? Oh, no more roach. Excuse me. I think we could see it. Yeah, it's up there. I think maybe we can get up there. Let's see, let's see. Oh! Oh, Geralt, come on. There you go. There we go, look at that! Saris? Ceres? Mm. Oh. Ooh. Damn. Something seriously wrong there. Gross. Fresh footprints. Could be Ceres's. Mm okay. There's a lot of oozing happening around here. Oh. What's this? A key! Seems useful. Ooh. Okay, since we're here, let's give this a try. This, um... It's always a little bit iffy trying to get out this way. Oh, Geralt, come on. Can we even do it? Maybe we need to go in the other room. You know what? Yeah, no. It's terrible. It's the worst trying to get out the back here. Maybe I'll try the other room first. I thought I was being careful. Being careful did not work out for me. Try the other room. Ooh, broken mirror. Oh. Hmm. Prince? No? Okay, we can't go out this way. Alright, let's give it another try. Can we get out over the box? Whoa! Oh! Almost, actually. That almost worked. Let's try again. I'm determined. I know I've done it. I know it's possible. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Okay, be careful. 
We were so close. Very close. All right. Come on, girl. We just need to walk very carefully along this. Come on, girl. Just get on, get on it. Hi. I save now. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, girl. Uh, let's try again. Oh, I did it. Yes. Uh, could I have gone around the back way? Yes. I absolutely could have. But you know what? We've got a sense of accomplishment now this way. Okay, let's go up here. Thera surely can just wait a second. No. Oh. Why? Oh my gosh. Come on, girl. Aha! Uh -huh. Ooh. Hmm. Magic. A place of power. We've made it most of the way up. Uh, there we go. Cool. There's the bay. Oh, there's the house. We could just hop down there. 